I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwis in the Hoop Animal Pencil Case 2 design and I've chosen the cat for this one. I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop, cutaway stabiliser, a selection of threads for the different features, some masking tape or painter's tape, my scissors, I've got a zipper and my fabrics cut to size. On the back of my fabrics I have added some heat and bond just to give it a slightly padded feel. I've hooped two layers of cutaway stabiliser and I've pinned just around the top of my hoop. There's no pins actually going underneath and this will help to hold my stabiliser taut and all I do, let me pull this one out, is push the pin in and just double it back round and it forms a little anchor and holds it. You're now going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your zip placement. You're next going to add your zip and the centre line here is what you want to align up the centre of your zip with. So I'm just going to lift that up and then I'm going to tape that down just make sure that the top here is lined up as well and tape that down too. You're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure the left side of the zip. Then when that's done, if we're happy with the alignment, then you're going to stitch the right side of the zip with round number three. And I'm now going to stitch round number three. Next we're going to add the left hand side lining fabric. So I'm going to turn my hoop over and with my, with my right side facing the hoop I'm going to lay this over so that it lines up with the right hand side of the zip here. And then I'm going to tape that in place. We're now going to add the front fabric, so I'm placing this once again to line up here so that it's, it clears my zip. And I'm going to tape it in place. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to secure both pieces of fabric. You're now going to flip your front fabric over the right way. Now I'm using an invisible zip and it's perfectly possible to use them and get a good result. Normally when you've got, um, you're using an ordinary zip, you'd pull this, flatten it down and then tape it to hold it so that the zip shows. With an invisible zip, you want the crease to end up on the center of the zip. So what I'm going to do is fold that and crease it with my nail so that it holds nice and neatly and then tape it down and that once that's stitched that will keep that nice and neat and when you've added the second piece you'll find your zip completely invisible. You're now going to pop this back into your machine and stitch round number five and that's going to secure your front down and also give you your placement line for your um, detail fabric. Next you're going to add your coloured fabric and you want to cover this outline here. So I'm just placing this over the top. And I'm going to tape it in place. I know these seem like large pieces of fabric that I'm using but I will trim off and then put them in my scrap bin or use them for something else. Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> okay so you're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. Next you're going to trim all your excess fabric off from around the stitch line. You're now going to place that back into your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to do the zigzagging 
around here. You're now going to stitch round number 8 and that's going to stitch the detail in the middle of the paw. I've just trimmed my front fabric back to the hoop here because it was a bit, little bit long and was starting to get in the way. We're now going to um, remove or flip the lining over. So I'm going to turn that over and pull that over and tape it in place. And because I'm using a satin fabric and it's a bit slippery, I'm just going to use a little bit more tape on it to hold it down. So now that's the um, lining dealt with. We're now going to start adding fabrics to this side as we did for this side. So we're going to start off with our lining fabric. And this time we're going to line it up to this side of the zip. Or at least make, it, make sure that it's right the way over and tape it in place. And turn my hoop over. And I'm going to place my um, right hand side fabric over. I'm just going to remove this tape so that it's not in the way. So once again face down and up to the edge of the zip and then tape it in place. I'm going to put that in the machine and stitch round number nine. Now that the fabrics are secured, we're going to flip the front back over like so. Now if you're using an ordinary zip, you can pull that up to the stitch line there so that it's nice and taut. If you're using an invisible stitch, you want to fold or crease it on the, the center of the zip so that the two fabrics butt up next to each other nicely. And that will hide the zip. So now I can tape that in place. You're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to do the outline for your second fabric as it did over this side. You're now going to place your scrap of fabric over the top here and tape it down. You can now pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 11. we're now going to remove the excess fabric here. Um, earlier I cut the edge off, it's better not to on the outside because we're going to be stitching the outline and it's always better to have a bit of fabric there if you possibly can. So I'm going to do it the right way this time and just trim off here. And that's how that side should have looked. You're now going to put that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 and that's going to do the satin stitching along um, the edge here and around the pores as per the other side. You're now going to stitch round number 13 and that's going to be the centre of the paw. Before you go any further you're going to pull your zipper down and I've put a piece of tape at the top there just to hold it out of the way and you want it halfway down here. It needs to clear the stitch line here otherwise you're not going to be able to open it later on. So I'm just going to move that down a little bit further actually. Oops, more fingers and thumbs. That's it, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to lay that back under there. Okay, 
So I'm now going to turn this over and my lining fabric from this side I'm going to pull over and tape it in place. Now I'm going to attach the lining for the head and you want that over this stitch line here you can just about see it through the zip and then tape it down turn that back over and we're now going to add the fabric for the head place your the, the fabric for the head over the stitch line that's going to come around about here and tape it in place. We're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 14 and that's going to secure both the lining and the front fabric. You're now going to pull the head fabric up and stick it down. And you're now going to put that back into your machine and stitch round number 15 to attach it. You're going to want to load white thread into your machine and now you're going to stitch round number 16 which is going to do the highlight of the nose and the whites of the eyes. Change your colour that you want for the eyes and then you're going to stitch round number 17. You're now going to change your thread again to black and stitch round number 18 which is the black of the eyes. now going to stitch round number 19 and that's going to do the nose, the whiskers and the mouth. Change your thread for the colour that you want for inside the ears and then stitch round number 20. You're going to turn your hoop over. I've removed the tape from my lining fabric and you're going to pull that up and turn this around so I can see what I'm doing and tape it down. I'm now going to add my tabs and I've got a piece of ribbon here and I'm going to place that. I've doubled it in half and I'm going to place it with the um, creased piece towards the, the middle of the, the cat and the raw edges on the outside and then I'm going to tape it in place there and a bit there and I'm going to do the same for this piece as well now that you haven't got any stitch line here as yet but you want to make sure that um, it falls below the stitch line of the feet so that's going to go there like so and try and line it up so that it's nice and neat and tape it in place next you're going to add your backing fabric and you're going to place it face down and if you're going to add a lining to this piece as well then you're going to add it now on top with the lining face up and then you can tape it in place
You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round at number 21 and that's going to secure the backing and the lining. I'm going to turn my hoop over. You're now going to cut through the stabilizer by the zip. I'm just using a, a, an unpicking tool here. And you can now free this from the hoop. I've removed all tape and pins and I'm now going to separate the hoop and we're going to trim up all around the edge taking care not to cut the stitching of course. We're now going to open this up. I'm going to turn it out the right way. now is to press it and there he is finished I hope you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published do pop along to creative kiwis facebook group there's always lots of ideas and inspiration there for everybody and thank you very much for joining me mm -hmm.